So I went to the zoo the other day to gawk at animals that don't want to be there, as opposed to the animals that do want to be there. But, well, I assume that there's at least one wild boar who's like, man, the forest was scary. Thanks for capturing me, humans. Now I can nap. But anyway, the zoo has robot dinosaurs now. I don't know if you knew that, or if your zoo has that, but mine does. And you go there, and it's like Jurassic Park. You walk around, and you check out the dinosaurs, and they're robots, and they're huge, and they move, and some of them spit water at you, and other ones make sounds. They, they bark. I don't know what the sound is called that dinosaurs make, but they make that sound, and it's amazing. It blew my mind. But the problem that I had with it is that there were no T-Rexes, there were no Stegosaurus or Triceratops or even Pterodactyls. It was a bunch of dinosaurs I had never heard of before. It was like Justin Bieber-saurus and Clockadabladadasaurus. I don't remember the names because I don't know anything about dinosaurs, which is the main problem. Anybody that I talk to these days is just like, hey, did you hear about Mel Gibson being racist? Or, hey, did you see that video of the guy tripping on mushrooms and crying at rainbows? And I'm like, yes, I heard about those things, but what I want to know is if T-Rex was racist or if pterodactyls cry at rainbows. Okay, ultimately, what I'm trying to say is that the 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 dinosaur zoo not having T-Rex is like if 70 million years from now there was a McDonald's robot zoo and they recreated what McDonald's used to be like using McDonald's fossils but all the McDonald's robot zoo has is robot apple pie and robot McFlurries but when I go to the robot McDonald's zoo I want to see robot Big Macs and robot quarter pounder with cheese. Does anyone else feel like they're still sleeping right now?